The Thumbled Anthology presents... Uh, I don't actually know. What the fuck is this, Alex? The Fumbled Anthology presents... Jason Statham's Big Vacation! A one-page one-shot designed by Grant Howard! Story, Liam Braid as Brick! This is now a rage room business. I suggest you join in. Finn Ward as Roman Rogers! There's no one around to witness this, so legally we're fine. And ethically, I don't give a shit. And Yon Roger as Donnie Dan! Like me and Jason, we're fine with this much cocaine. These animals are not. Your state the master is Alex Green! All right, here's how it works. Jason Statham, international movie star, is going on holidays. But, unfortunately for everyone involved, he has a very impulsive nature, which could ruin his entire holiday, and it could ruin everyone else's around him. So, it's up to you, a skilled team of operatives paid for by his management to ensure that Jason Statham's holiday goes smoothly. (laughs) So, uh, now, you all know each other, so we'll... Introduce your characters. Um, who are you playing today, Liam? I'm playing Brick. All right, and uh, what a so each character in this game has a, has a specific set of skills. Um, so, what are your skills? Well, Brick is the private bodyguard for Jason Statham. Uh, he's been the bodyguard for many famous people, uh, Taylor Swift. Uh, Tom Cruise, uh, who else? Vin Diesel, even. Um, the first time he's been the body of the guard for Jason Statham. But, uh, his name's Brick. He doesn't say much. Uh, my skills are, uh, these are, these hands are weapons. And my other skill is these hand, these weapons are also weapons. And uh, extraction, which is a six. So oh, that, I don't know if that's a good score or not. I didn't really describe myself. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the the big, the big agent guy from Lilo and Stitch. Oh yeah, for that's sure. brick. That's brick. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So because you uh, we're missing, there's one character we're not using. We're also going to give you an extra skill, and it's called Follow Me, and that's also a six. Well, he, Brick doesn't say much, but whenever he says something, it's follow me or get fucked. <laughs> so I'll explain how the numbers work in a moment. Uh, next up, uh, our lawyer, Roman Rogers. Tell us about yourself. Your Honor, my name is Roman Rogers. I am a lawyer for the celebrities. Some people have accused me of being a little bit sleazy, but, uh, you know, that's you know part of the, you know, affect. Uh, funnily enough, I've also been a, I'm a celebrity lawyer, and funnily enough, I've also represented Taylor Swift, Vin Diesel, Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's the same management company. Many others. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, my skills are Law Law, Spin Doctor, and Eye for Detail. <laughs> And you also get a bonus, uh, a bonus ability, and it's called Local Knowledge, and that's a seven. Local Knowledge seven, very yeah. good. And then finally, we have our talent agent, Donnie Dan. Tell us about yourself, Donnie. I'm Donnie Dan. Uh, yeah, I'm obviously provide our clients with the greatest representation and career advocacy that you can meet. I can guarantee that I will convince you that I am 100% on your side and anything you need, I can get it. You can quote me on that. I'm, my skills are Jason Stratham Law. I am a retired actor that's going to go back into acting hopefully in a few years when my hit big, hit big time. And anything on the side that may or may not be legal that I can get for you for a very low, low price of only a 20% increase in price. <laughs> so in case that wasn't clear, your skills are Statham Law, Failed Actor, and Narcotics. Um, and your extra bonus skill is called Extreme Sports, and that is a five. Extreme Sports? All right. Uh, I'll quickly go over the rules. So when you attempt an action... 
and the Statham Master, me, uh, reckons that the outcome is in doubt, uh, you're going to roll the d12. If the number is a 4 or lower, the action goes well for you. On a 1, it goes very well, much like Call of Cthulhu, whatever that game is. Um, if it goes, if you roll a 12, it will go very badly. However, if you have a skill that relates to the action in question, you roll equal to or, to or under that skill instead of a 4. So, for instance, if Roman Rogers wanted to do a skill relating to, you know, a question of law, then they can roll against their law law skill, which is a 9. So they only have to roll under 9, which is much higher. So that's how the numbers work. So the other thing you have to remember is each time you roll a d12, you also have to roll the d6 at the same time. This is called the Statham dice. <laughs> If the Statham dice shows the same number as the D12, Jason Statham is going to do something unpredictable. Oh no. Even if you pass. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a normal holiday without a little bit of um, I guess uh, conflict. So, where is he going for his holiday? Oh, I'll, I'll, we'll get to that. Okay. So, um <laughs> So, as well as dealing with Jason Statham's highly erratic behaviour, you also have to deal with the Wesley Sniper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wesley Snipes is... Uh, he, he spends his days these days hounding popular action stars in a quest for deranged vengeance. He has sworn never to shoot other actors with his high-caliber rifle, but everything else is fair game. He will interfere with every scene from afar. He's too distant to be stopped, so all you can do is work around him and clean up the mess. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. So, um, how? So there's going to be four scenes in each game, represent each scene representing a day in his holiday. So it's four day, right. it's a four day weekend for Jason, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm. We're going to roll uh, to see what is on the itinerary. I'm going to roll a d20, and um, that'll let you know where we're going, and I'll tell you in advance where we're going. And then uh, I also roll to determine what the Wesley Sniper is going to do to mess things up. But I'm gonna, not going to tell you what that is until it happens, right? Yeah. Um, so on the last scene, I'm going to I'm going to roll. I'm going to. It's going to be the last scene's going to be chaos. I'm going to roll twice. I'm hoping for, for a water park. That's okay. Well, yeah. I, I don't know if water park. Brick. Brick loves water parks. Oh yeah, Marina's on here. It might happen. Oh no, no. Brick loves water slides. Oh, does he? Okay. I'll make sure I'll try and fit a water slide somewhere, don't worry. Brick has to go down with him as well to make sure he's protected. <laughs> so, uh, just for yourself, so um, if an action, if, if you're attempting an action and it goes badly and it was like a dangerous action, then I might rule that your character is injured or stressed and you gain what's called adrenaline. And you can gain up to three adrenaline before you pass out or go mad or die. Well, wait, you won't die, but you'll go mad or pass out. And every time you have adrenaline, you have to add that number to your roll whenever you roll, right? So if you roll a four, but your adrenaline is one, it becomes a five. And so, okay. On. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. That makes sense. Sorry. Yeah. Um, in terms of Jason Statham's hit points, he doesn't really have hit points. What he has is the Statham tracks. Right. There are four tracks that Jason has, and you need to keep all four of them uh, from reaching zero. They all start at eight, and they all go down. The various things happen. It's like playing Battlestar Galactica, the board game. Yeah, so this, the four tracks are dead. Yep, thanks. Sad. Oh, yeah. Arrested and bored. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. So each scene, each scene, uh, two of these four tracks will be under jeopardy. So you as players get to choose which track is going to be affected. And then I also get to choose a track that is affected. Right. And those are the only two tracks that can be can be affected this game. The lawyer's in charge of not getting him arrested, okay? Yeah. All right. That's pretty much all you really need to know for now. Does anyone have any questions before we start? Um, no, I'm happy to see how this plays out, I um, think. Br Brick has got his suitcase in which you don't know what's inside it yet, but he's, Brick's got his suitcase. Donny Dan's got his suitcase, which you could assume what's inside, but I will never <laughs> confirm or deny. Each scene starts out um, the same, so you're all sitting in, in in like a very fancy Airbnb, probably somewhere. Where are we actually? Let's just say we're in we're in Sydney. There's lots of you know he's traveled to travel to Australia for a holiday. Um, so every, it all starts out. You're all in the same Airbnb. I don't know, having having breakfast or something, and then 
you just hear an alarm clock go off, and then the alarm clock, you just hear the alarm clock smacking, and then Jason kicks the door down. Boosh! All right, lads, get excited. We're going to yoga. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, Mr. Statham. So we're all we're all going to a yoga slash Pilates class. So, uh, what uh, what track would you like to have Jason Statham worry about doing yoga and Pilates? They are dead, arrested, sad, or bored. Uh, um, so sad. If he gets too introspective from all the uh, <laughs> stretching, <laughs> this could. <laughs> yeah, sad. Let's do sad and sad and bored. I think are the two main. I, I think it's a bit soon in the game for us to pick dead. Uh... Yeah, probably. <laughs> hey, dead. Dead could be a good one to start off with because you know yeah, he's, 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 no, he's no spring chicken, you know. Yeah, oh. he, could, he could bend it wrong yeah. and die. How old is he? How old is he now? Oh, oh, he's probably in his like late forties or something, maybe. Ah, uh, <laughs> he's actually fifty-six. 56. If you ask the Jason Statham Lawmaster here. <laughs> yeah, roll. <laughs> Can we roll Statham Law to determine how old he is? Right. <laughs> Do you want me to? No, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, because he was born on twenty-sixth of July, nineteen sixty-seven. Oh yeah, he's old. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> All right, say on. So what did what did we pick? What did we pick? Sad. Uh, sad board, okay. I think. So, okay, so you guys pick sad. I'm gonna pick. I'll probably pick board. I think. Oh wait, so we pick one. And oh, we pick you guys one, pick one, and then I pick one. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. All right. So, all right. So, how are you all getting to the yoga yoga studio? I think Brick's gonna drive. Brick's gonna drive. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we all. <laughs> you all hop in Brick's car. Does this does this count as extraction? <laughs> <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> um, you drive down to the yoga studio. Uh, Does this count as follow me? <laughs> I, I don't need to roll for this. Jason's yeah. Jason's excited. He's dressed in um, his like active wear. He's looking very schmick. He's got his tights on. Um, he's got his Stanley Cup. He's having a good day, <laughs> and he's really excited about going to, going to do some yoga, some Pilates. He probably hasn't done it in a while. I don't know how flexible he's feeling. Um, so you arrive at the yoga studio. And it's a very fancy, like, boutique yoga studio. There's already a few classes going on. They've got all kinds of yoga. They've got, um, they've got aerial yoga. They've got dog yoga. They've got beer yoga. They've got your traditional yoga. They've also got, um, I mean, they've got Pilates as well. Um, so, yeah. What are you, what are you guys going to do? Jason wants to sign up for a class, I think. He's like, he's like, oh, can't wait. Oh, just want, just want to do some yoga. Oh, I want to get that. Get my stretches going, yeah. It's gonna be great. Feels good. What are you guys gonna do? Oh well, are we advising Mr. Statham here? Is this the? Yeah, I mean, thank you. Oh, are I'm we also us. choosing our own yoga? Oh, I'm gonna turn on a Yui Boom and just like blast some good old music just to get him in the zone. I think it just like yeah, Ooh, just announce yeah, the presence okay. since we walk yeah. in. Probably yeah, obno yeah. obnoxiously, if people like look over yeah. and just like. Yeah, <laughs> there is a there is a receptionist at the front desk who's probably like she's taking names for for classes. Okay, all right, we're gonna choose one. I I'm always standing right behind Jason, even when he's doing his mm. downward dog or whatever. Just standing there, arms folded in a suit that <laughs> in a suit that's having my muscles bulge out from him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my eye for detail skill. I want to see if there's some sort of uh, uh, let's see adrenaline based yoga, some sort of crank okay. yoga, if you will. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> Something that'll really keep your heart rate going. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Give me a give me a eye for detail. Rob. Oh no, I got a double six. <laughs> So six out of six. So my skill is six in that. Is that a, yeah. I don't know if that's a pass or a That's fine, fail. that's a pass. But he also rolled six on the Jason Statham die. But I also rolled six on the Jason Statham <laughs> die. So we're okay. getting wacky on the first roll. <laughs> All right. So with your eye for detail, you do notice that there is a class coming up in the next hour uh, called Red Bull Yoga. Uh, oh, not sponsored yeah. by Red Bull. And I think it, it, what you assume, it's 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 like beer yoga, but instead of beer, it's energy drinks. All right. <laughs> so he's getting really excited. Anyway, but unfortunately, uh, Jason Jason is so excited that he um, 
he is just he shot the UE boom you got the UE boom out. Yeah. And he's so excited that he just starts like he just starts doing like his crazy yoga moves because he's so excited and he accidentally like knocks over like a really expensive vase or something. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, yeah, I feel good. And he gets so excited about that that he's like, wants, now he wants to break more stuff. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. Yeah, let's turn into a rage room. <laughs> oh my God, okay. Now he's like, he's really, really cranked. And he's like, now you're telling him about this Red Bull yoga. And he's like, yes, let's do it. Yeah, I'm so excited. Let's go. <laughs> uh, what, what are you going to do in response to this? Well, how how are the staff reacting to this? The staff are very uh, are very concerned. They look very concerned. Bri Bri Brick's gonna go up and go. This is now a rage room business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna go up on him and I'm like, I think you'll find if you check this uh, check this here uh, sheets here. I'm pointing some papers that I'm pulling out of my briefcase that's on me yeah. permanently. I'm yeah. like, Mr. Statham, and my client as well within his rights to a. Uh, Make this into a rage room if he so pleases. Uh, <laughs> you will be compensated for any damages, I swear. And, uh... <laughs> alright. Please stand here, please stand here, please stand here. This, yeah, it's like a law law roll, so yeah, do that. Yeah, alright. I was just gonna try and break some shit as well, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just can still do that. <laughs> uh, law law, let's see. Yep. Um... Failed. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> They're just like... They look at you go... <laughs> these, these documents... <laughs> They're written in crayon. <laughs> I don't know if I believe this. <laughs> Good thing we didn't pick the arrested one. Anyway, yeah. So, and they like, they start telling Jason, like, they start telling Jason, J excuse me, sir, you can't break stuff. And Jason, Jason starts to get a little bit sad about that, hearing that he can't break anything. <laughs> oh, no. Brick, take it from here, please. Bri Bri Brick's going to go to the receptionist. Uh, sir, I suggest you join in. And I just get my big fist and, like, can I try and break the desk just with my? Yeah, hands? give me, give me these hands of weapons. Yep. <laughs> uh, these hands of weapons is a five. Yep, that's which is that's a success. good. Yep. And I've rolled a six on the Jason die. Okay, so you're fine. Yeah. So you you break the <laughs> break the table with one fist, and I, I just <laughs> smash the table and it collapses with one hand. <laughs> <you know. laughs> And the receptionist is so freaked out about this, and she's like, "Okay, well, it's a rage." Pick room, up man. a vase. Pick up a vase, miss. <laughs> she, she very scared. Picks up a vase and just starts breaking it. Now smash it on the floor. <laughs> uh, okay. Bang. Um, anyway, I think it's time for the class to begin. So this, this nice. I guess, this Russian instructor. <laughs> she's like buzzing on Red Bull already. She's like, "All right, who is here for the Red Bull class?" And Jason's like, "Yeah, let's go. Let's do it." Woo. 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 So you go into this very um, ornate looking, um, very very fancy looking uh, yoga room. Um, you're very polished walls, there's mirrors and all the things. There's like cans of Red Bull everywhere. Um, you also notice at the front of the room, this tank, this full tank, uh, like a big aquarium and it's full of eels. <laughs> you start doing your, uh, your exercises. Um, and then one of you, I, Whoever, whoever it doesn't matter. One of you notices a red dot just on Jason Sath back of Jason Satham's head, and then it moves uh -oh. up, and then it lands on this tank full of eels, <laughs> and then a gunshot, bang, and then the tank explodes, and now all these eels start tumbling out <laughs> of this room, and Jason's in the middle of his downward dog, so he doesn't realise what are you doing. Oh my god. Well, I'm standing right behind Jason. Yeah. I, uh, I'm gonna use maybe local <laughs> knowledge to determine what type of eels they are. Sure, <laughs> I do it, yeah. I wanna know how dangerous these eels are. Yep, yep. I wanna know if my client's gonna be liable to sue for damages. Yeah, yeah, we can, we can do a 180. Yeah. We go to this rage room and there's dangerous eels everywhere. I failed again. You failed? Okay. All right. That's that's a, what we'll do. So, you 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 go. You walk over to the eels to to see what they are, what type of eel they are. You pick one up and it electrocutes you. Oh and my you God. immediately realize what side of eel it is, and but you also uh, take a point of adrenaline because you got okay. electrocuted. All right. <laughs> no, no. And so all the other patrons in this yoga studio, they start like getting zapped, and it's really ruining their yoga. 
and the other instructor's freaking out. He's like, oh no, what's going on here? What's happening? Jason Statham is oblivious. He's like in the middle of his warrior pose. He's got his eyes shut. He's like, he's bo he, the boombox is going. He can't hear the screams of everyone else as the eels are electrocuting them. I'll quickly just yell out to Jason. Um, quick, Jason, some partner yoga and try and like put him up into like onto the feet. You know how you just throw them up? <laughs> yeah. And so that way he's away. Yeah. He's away from the eels. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Sure. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you do that. He's <laughs> like, it's cool. This is really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think the eels are still there. Yeah. Brick wears thick leather gloves all the time. You know, like bodyguard gloves. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Can I pick the eels up one by one and just throw them out the window? <laughs> are you going to use a specific skill for this? <laughs> uh... <laughs> or are you just going to roll normally? Well, it depends if you want me to. Can I count the eels as weapons themselves? <laughs> sure, if you want to treat the eels as weapons. Yeah, yeah right. I'm treating the eel as a weapon against the window. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, okay. You're not putting the window, you're just going to throw them at the window and hope it breaks. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm very strong. I've rolled a, a two. Yeah. Ooh. And four on the Jason. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, 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 Brick, Brick picks up the first eel and just <laughs> hurls it at the window. The window smashes. You can hear screams on the street below. <laughs> That's okay. Everyone starts going, Is that an ah, electric eel? <laughs> From outside. And you just keep throwing them out the window. Um, I think Wesley Snipes is here. <laughs> that Roman, damn Wesley Snipes. What, what, are, what are you doing, Roman Rogers? Um, I'm, uh, I'm, after recovering from my shock, I, uh, I uh, oh, I go up to the instructor and I say, <laughs> "You're very lucky that my client wasn't damaged too badly." But uh, <laughs> we'll, uh we're still gonna sue you. <laughs> we're still gonna sue you for damages. Can you see how <laughs> sad he is? He's so distressed. You, this is emotional <laughs> distress of the highest order, and uh, you can expect. You know, I I expect your bosses are gonna try and sue us. We're gonna counter sue. So don't you try nothing. All right. Do you, maybe you have pre-written settlement papers. In your <laughs> yeah. yeah, like if you just want, to, you could just sign these papers. You might be, <laughs> you might be able to uh, make it mitigate yeah. any damages to your own person that may. <laughs> you mean, I mean, it sounds like it. I mean, to be fair, it's, uh, yeah, I think it sounds like an act of God that you're trying to to spin as as something that's their fault. So maybe do spin doctor. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. An act of God. It was Wesley Snipes. We know it was. <laughs> uh, that is a success. What, what does Roman Rogers look look like? Success. Uh, he's. Uh, How'd you uh, go on the Statham die? Uh, the Statham die was a one. It's not. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't match. Okay. So that, that's a success yep. all around. Um, Give us a comparison character for Roman Rogers. Uh, Roman Rogers is a, uh, a short, um, portly. Mid forties, balding on the top. It looks like almost like he's got a tonsure, uh, like that monk haircut. But that's just because he's balding at the top. Um, but it's yeah. somehow still fairly strong around the mid front. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect guy in the wrestling world that I know of. I'm picturing, I'm picturing Danny DeVito. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he looks like Danny DeVito with a tonsure, and uh, anyway, <laughs> and he's got big, he's got big round glasses, and he's, a, <laughs> and he's got a. He's got this tiny little briefcase that he carries around with him everywhere. Um, and he's constantly anyway, yeah. pulling so you managed dubious to doctor himself. Yeah. So you... For any wrestling fans out there, he's basically Paul Heyman. All right. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to look this guy up. Yeah, I'll, I'll look, look up Paul Heyman. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's the, it's the guy who talks for, what's his name? Yeah, yeah, I've seen This guy's great. Yeah, yeah. he is just yeah. like Paul Heyman, yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My client, Jason Statham. Um, <laughs> so, okay, so you so you've managed to convince the instructor that yes, we shouldn't we shouldn't sue. Uh, we should probably keep this quiet. Meanwhile, um, uh, Danny, Danny, Dan, you are you. The eels are coming closer, and you're holding Jason Statham oh, up. Uh, I'm gonna quickly say, if we're a quick pyramid, we're gonna put Jason at the top. We tried. <laughs> like, Come on, it'll be great for the gram. <laughs> All right. I think I don't, I don't know what sort of uh, um, skill that's gonna. What what skill are we putting that under? Extreme sports. <laughs> maybe. All right. All right. Let's let's do that. Sure. <laughs> do we, we need to get involved in this? <laughs> Everyone's gonna have to get involved. Uh, All right. I'll be the brick. Will be the base. Yeah. Yeah. We're putting base <laughs> at the top, 
and me like yeah. up there as well just to make sure it's you okay. know are we just gonna stack in like a ladder it's like brick then me then yeah. donnie and then jason's face uh, mm. i rolled a three and a five a three on the d12 so i think that's a pass yeah i think you i think you've, you've done it yeah so <laughs> You've managed to put Jason on a pyramid of <laughs> your own bodies. Everyone gets on board. Um, Brick's at the bottom. Uh, Brick, the, the eels are still coming. There's only a few left, but they're still coming. Um, you're going to have to... Are you going to do something about it? Or Jason's on top. He's having a great time, by the way. He's, having the... He's like, oh, this is so cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll pull out my phone and take a selfie with him. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I'm doing my job. <laughs> All right. Brick at the bottom. The, elite, the eels are coming. I'm just squi- I'm just squishing any eels that come near me with my fists. All right. Yeah. Give me give me one more of these hands of weapons rolls. Uh, it's a six, which is good, I think. And we're all good on the Jason die. Okay. Yep. So you just you crush the last few eels with your fist. You manage to hold the pyramid up. You're a hero. Um, and everyone is everyone is relieved that the eels are gone. There's like chaos. Yeah, in, in the in the streets and all the eels that are uh, <laughs> yeah, I've thrown, I've thrown a few of them out the window. <laughs> that are, that are eels in the street. The police are there, but I think uh, Jason Statham is safe. And as he sits on top of the pyramid, he's thinking, "Oh wow, what a great day! This is awesome." He's not bored. He's not Good. bored. Yeah. He's not sad. I think we can call this day an overwhelming success. Congratulations. Sensational. <laughs> Well done, everyone. <laughs> all right, so we all we all go home. Jason's got you know his Stanley Cup. It's full of Red Bull. He's having a great time. He brought the Stanley Cup with him. <laughs> no, one, no, one, no one sleeps because everyone's jacked on Red Bull, but everyone's had a great day. All right. So you all did really well. So um, at the end of every scene, uh, the adrenaline, all your adrenaline gets reset to zero. So okay. um, nice. you're all good there. Yeah. Um, and yep. Yeah, so you didn't lose any sad. You didn't lose any bored. That's, didn't that's a great job. One sad? I thought we, no, no he was starting <laughs> to get sad, but then... So okay. yeah, I'll, I'll sort of get too it starts to get sad, but then you you pass the skill to make him less uh, okay. sad. I see. Yeah, I so see. you can bring yeah. it back. All right. Like, yeah, you can stop it from happening. Yeah, you can stop it from happening. All right. All right. Cool. All right. So that was your first day done. How's that? Nice. Good stuff. Good. Yeah, that's good. good. Right. <laughs> great holiday. Yeah. Great, great holiday. Great first holiday. All right, let's go. Yeah. So, well, day two. Uh, it's morning. You're all hanging out. Um, oh, you've hardly slept because you've still jacked on all the Red Bull you've had. And, okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to think about this one. All right. Anyway, we'll worry about the letter. So, where would you like to go today, Jason? <laughs> so, um, <laughs> the alarm clock that got broken yesterday um, is being replaced with, a, with an iPhone ringing. <laughs> The alarm's gone off, mm. and then you just hear it break. <laughs> and then the door gets kicked in, boosh! And Jason Statham walks out. He's in, like, a, a really, really lovely-looking suit. And he says, All right, guys, we're going to the dogs. Let's go. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going, you're going uh, to the dog races. The dog races? Yeah, the dog races. How <laughs> hey, you want to... Dress up for the dogs. Oh, well, um, I'm gonna wear my yeah, my sleaziest suit and my <laughs> whitest tie. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just wearing the same suit that's gonna explode from my muscle. <laughs> I'm literally wearing the same outfit as yesterday, which is like a red. Li- literally, I, I look like Plastic Man with a tie, um, yeah. <laughs> animated. But now I've yeah. put a blazer on top. That's oh, very good. Very good. Now, um, the next question is what uh, what uh, tracker do you want to put in jeopardy today? Remember, the, the options are dead, arrested, sad, or bored. Let's play with arrested. Yeah, it's, it's yeah, arrested. Arrested. We've got a good arrested yeah. today. All right. Yeah. <laughs> arrested it is. I mean, we're already going to a questionable activity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm g- yeah, I'm going to go with sad, I think. What? Don't put any dogs in danger, please. 
Okay, so how are you guys getting to the dog races? Get in the car. <laughs> it's the same guy. Maybe we can catch the right. beautiful Sydney yeah. Metro. <laughs> oh, okay. So, Where's the dog truck in Sydney? Uh, there's one in... There's one in... Uh, oh, there's there's one in Glebe. Yeah, Glebe, I think. Yeah, Yeah. right. Yeah. All right. So we can get the light rail. You can get the light yeah, rail, yeah. Yeah, yeah essentially, so you, yeah. Yeah, you give it all a drink, right? So you take public transport, take the, take the Metro yep. down yeah. to Sydney, and then you take the light rail from Sydney to Glebe. Even in April Fools, we are still... Getting those Sydney references down, I love it. When when I step onto the light rail, it, it tilts. <laughs> You're gonna say, get in the train. Yeah. <laughs> get in the train. Get, all right. <laughs> get in the train. Get in the ball. You arrive at the dog races. Now, these aren't just normal dog races, right? Because obviously, Jason Statham wouldn't just go to the Greyhounds because that's, you know, that's not good for animals. These are corgi races. Oh. Oh. So these are all beautiful little corgis. Um, and I don't know if you've ever seen corgi racing. You can watch it on KO, believe it or not. Don't they have like an obstacle course or something? No, no, it's a, it's a straight track, all right? But how it works is it's like only like a hundred meters and you've got all the owners. The owners are on the other, like at the finish line with the Corgi's favorite toys. And the Corgi's uh -huh. just like run towards the toy. It's actually really wholesome. Yeah, and like right. half of the oh, Corgi's like, half of the Corgi's just like sit there and don't do anything. Some of them will run in circles. Yeah. You see the really fast ones, they'll like run straight there and they'll just run back because there's a lot of running. It's very wholesome. It's very wholesome. We're not going to have mm. Greyhound Racing. <laughs> Greyhound Racing is fun. But Corgi Racing, yeah. yes. So... <laughs> You uh, arrive beautiful. and you see all these amazing, uh, these amazing corgis. They're so beautiful. They're so cute. All the owners are there. They're looking. The owners are, are quite sturdy, but they've all got their toys and their their corgi racing. Um, there's a quite a, quite a line for the um, for the betting. Can I be like Mr. Rogers? Mr. Rogers. Oh, sorry. Yes, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Rick. What can I what can I do for you? Acquire Mr. Statham a corgi. Now. Oh. Oh, right, right, right away, Mr. Brick. Uh. <laughs> Do I? Oh, oh, hang on. Do I know Jason Statham's favorite number? Yeah, give me a Statham war roll. <laughs> it's okay. It's an eight on the D12, which I think is a pass. Yep. That's that's a pass. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, what number is it? It's the number is two. Cause that's how many crank movies he made. Rogers, make sure the corgi has the number two in it. Oh, Mr. Danny Dan, you are a fine man. Um, yep. I, uh, I guess I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go find corgi number two, and I'm gonna go find the owners, and I say, Yeah. Now, now, owners, I. Uh, I yes. Uh, hello there. <laughs> Now, perchance, have you seen the movie uh, Lockstock and Two Smoking Barrels, or perhaps Snatch? Wait, is he in Lockstock? <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> have you seen um, uh, the movie yeah. The Fast and the Furious? Uh, Hobbs presents <laughs> Hobbs and Shaw, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask for a. Oh, I'm gonna give ask just for a, a straight roll, just to see if they have have watched those movies. So I just you need a four. Um. That's a failure. I can roll the 10. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they just go, oh, I can't say I have. That's not... I normally watch the classics, you know, like Casablanca and The Wizard of Oz. I can't say I've seen anything modern. Ah, whatever. All right. How about this? I offer you a stupendous amount of money for that little dog that you have there. For mm. possession and ownership of that dog. What, when you say a stupendous amount of money, what are you, what are you referring to? Uh, I'm going to... Go back to Donny sidebar with Donny Dan here. Like, yep. Oh yeah, Donny Dan. Oh, yeah. What what is the state of Mr. Statham's finances? I have no idea. I'm assuming it's great, of course, like always. Roll me your Statham law. <laughs> yeah, give me a Statham law roll. Oh right. <laughs> oh that's 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 yeah, natural one and a natural two. So that's uh crate. Natural one oh for a on the D twelve. Is that bad? No, 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 that's fine. Natural one is amazing. Oh cool. Uh, all right. <laughs> Uh, Jason, I'm just going to Google this. Jason Statham net worth. <laughs> uh, he is worth um, ninety million dollars. <laughs> you know, he's, he's he's on about hard times right now, but I, I just see him excelling and getting you know past that hundred mil very soon. 
How much of that are you going to offer to them, Roman? All right. Yes, sir. Madam, I'm prepared to offer you the sum of $500,000 for this corgi. Yours? Mmm, $500,000. Um, oh, that's, I mean, that's, that's almost as much money as I make in an afternoon. Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I'd be interested. I'd be, I'd be interested. Uh, yeah, give me a, I'll need, probably need a roll to see if they, see if they take this. Um, I'm trying to, like, sort of strike a deal with them. Can I spin yeah. for it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, give me sp- yeah, spin doctor, sure. Let's go with that. Why not? You need to accept the deal in five seconds or it's gone. <laughs> uh, and that is a crit- critical fail. I rolled a 12. <laughs> Snapping your fingers. Yeah, so, yeah, critical fail. So they're just like, oh, $500,000. I'm sorry, but but Mr. Puppikins is not for sale. He is our pride and joy. He is our son. I'm so sorry. You cannot have him. And and I think Jason Statham overhears you say this. Overhears overhears you like trying to get this this corgi, and he's he's very sad about not being able to purchase a corgi. I I, I walk up to the situation. I and I go <laughs> buy. I'll go sell the dog. <laughs> As I'm like cracking my fists. <laughs> you would not want my friend here to get genetic about this situation. I oh my you. god! Sell your dog. Okay. Let's go with, um, yeah, let's go with these hands and weapons, I guess. <laughs> all I'm doing is cracking my fists, that's all. <laughs> is violent? Still a weapon? Use of a weapon? <laughs> uh, oh! I've rolled a 12. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Unflappable dog owners here, oh my so, god. Yeah, they just, well, if you're going to act that way, I'm going to call the police. <laughs> they, and Jason's really sad now. In fact, he's so sad. He is so Can sad. Can I suggest that they bring over my brother, uh, Concrete? Um, he's so sad. Jason loses three on the sad track. So he's now oh, five no. sad left. Oh, no. oh, as he as right. as now he's he's the the possibility of owning Mr. Puppykins has made him really sad. Um, so anyway, so he's he's a little mopey. Um, he's got his favorite corgi. Had a corgi shirt on, by the way. It's probably like a corgi pun on it, and he's like, just like holding it. And he's like, oh, just, just really wanted a corgi. Just really wanted a corgi. And he's like, I'm gonna, I want to buy a corgi. I really want to buy a corgi. Um, anyway, he um, he hops onto Facebook Marketplace, and he starts noticing that um, yeah, there's a corgi for sale for really cheap. His name is Dash. And he's only worth about ten dollars, which is far lower than the asking price of any of these snooty people. Um, and he's like, "Oh, oh, oh, corgi, corgi!" So he purchases the corgi straight away, um, and he's you know, getting really excited. Then he starts to see more corgis just coming onto the market, um, and all of a sudden, there's even more corgis, and they all seem to be coming, you know, coming from the same, the same, um, the same Facebook user. Um, so Sesni wipes or something, or whatever that might be, whoever that might be. And you notice that there's so many corgis that are for sale now that it causes a full scale stock market crash. <laughs> and everyone and everyone in the arena, I can't believe I managed to work it, it said, everyone in the arena fi- starts to realize that their corgis, their pride and joy, is now worthless. As all the corgis on the market are worth like, you know, it's five bucks, ten bucks, they're five hundred thousand dollar corgis, you worthless now. And they're so they're, and they start to get angry and they're looking for someone to blame. And <laughs> and they realize the one person who wanted the price of corgis to go down in this whole arena, the one person was one Jason Statham, and they all start to get very angry. Someone's calling the police right now. Shit, shit. Uh, Alright, um, I guess it's time for, uh, me to step in. I'm gonna go up to the man on the phone. Yeah. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Brick, stop threatening people. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to the, uh... Can, can I, how about, how about you suggest that the winner of the next Corgi race wins, like, $10 million? Whoa, no, no, no. What about... 10 million corgis because this solves the supply and demand issue right <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah the, the the win of the next race gets all the corgis except except number two yeah right. except number two <laughs> gentlemen gentlemen 
May I, uh, may I suggest a wager? <laughs> I would like to, uh, I would like to say that, uh, I'd like to propose that we, uh, you know, whoever run, wins this next race wins every corgi sold by Mr. Sesley Wipes here. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, that way all of your problems will, uh, be alleviated by the supply you, of going you to one You will control man. the market. You will <laughs> monop the monopoly on the corgi market can be yours for the taking. So, uh, <laughs> so, no need to, no need to get the law involved. Uh, my client here is just trying to present a great opportunity to you all, alright? So, uh, please, please, what, do, what say you? <laughs> alright, give me a, um, give me a spin doctor roll. Oh, I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Spend all your luck on this all one. Alright, uh... That is... Oh, these dice are impossible to read. That is a number two. That is a success. I rolled right. a number two on the Jason die, though, as well. <laughs> 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 alright, so you managed to quell the crowd, and they go, Yeah, alright, like, okay, I think we could all agree to this. This sounds like a, a, a fairly, I guess, a reasonable enough way to solve this dilemma. Does, does Jason enter the race? <laughs> and then Jason Jason looks at his corgi shirt looks up and looks down he's like I'm gonna enter the race guys I'm gonna win all the corgis for me uh, and they're like right. oh no no you yeah. can't, can't do this <laughs> and then Jason yes you can yes you can <laughs> and then Jason goes alright I need this I need, I, need the, I need to enter this race yes I need to be I need to be a corgi I need some fur quickly and he starts like like looking for like corgis to to steal their fur not like in a like not in a you know in, in a skinning their skin way like just sort of like combing them aggressively to try and get the loose fur off so he can cover himself in corgi fur that's what he's trying to do now and their owners are getting very upset about this roman roman they agreed to the deal they agreed to the deal yep they agreed to the yeah. deal and it's gonna be jason's corgis anyway soon so <laughs> yeah look, yeah Right, this makes me feel so much better for what I was going to do. What were you gonna do? Can can I stand on the can I stand on the starting line in front of Jason? <laughs> in front of Jason? Yeah, in front of Jason they'll be like, Mr. Statham, follow me. At the moment Mr. Statham's still trying to, to get the corgi, so yeah, give me a follow me roll if you convince him to stop and go to the starting line, yeah, sure. No, I was gonna use my follow me to run faster than the corgis and then have him follow me. Oh, I see. Okay, right. Um, well, at the moment, he's a little preoccupied with with trying to pull fur off corgis, and the people are all right, we'll upset come back about to that. that later. Yeah, I, I like where you're going, though. We should keep that in mind. I'm gonna try and pull Jason aside and just be like, "Let's go to the bathroom." With the whole <laughs> bump of the nose, and you're like, right? I'm yeah, gonna okay. give him a fighting itch. I'm gonna give him <laughs> something to really focus and run faster yep. than the corgis. Yeah, all Originally, right. I was gonna give it to a dog. But now, now I've got no moral conundrums about this. <laughs> yeah, go on, give me a narcotics roll. E. It's not good. It's a nine. <laughs> it's a failure. So you, so so you pull you pull out the bag of cocaine, but as you pull it out, <laughs> the bag breaks and it goes everywhere, and the wind the wind just sort of shifts it back at you. Yeah. <laughs> And now, and now you've just gested a whole bag of cocaine, um, and I think you lose, you gain an adrenaline gain for that. Adrenaline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would do it. And Jason's continuing to pull fur off corgis, and it, okay. and now everyone, people, are, like the, the police are on their way, <laughs> and they're like, please stop harassing my dog, sir. You can't do that. Jason's like, no, I need the fur. I need to be a corgi. We need to start the race. We need to start the race. Let's get the race going, start guys. The race. Start the race. Yeah. Well, can I just follow around, but just to try and mitigate the cop action, I'm gonna run. Around. I have I have some emergency money in my case, and I'm gonna follow yep. around behind Nathan and just like start handing out fucking wads of cash <laughs> to everyone that he's grabbing. All right. Yeah. Give, yeah, give me a there. give me a law law, I guess. Okay. Yeah. This is legal. Yeah. This is legal, actually. Just, please <laughs> take this. This was a legal transaction. Yeah. This was a legal, legal transaction. transaction. Legal transaction. Legal transaction. Legal transaction. It's legal now. Yeah. It's legally binding. Yeah. 
Um, that's a two. Uh, that's a success. Yes. And the the Statham die is all right. All right. So they all they all go. Oh, okay. If we get a pay us for the fur, I guess it's fine. And then they accept your money, and they're sort of okay with it. Um, I think the cops, the, the cops sort of get called off. I mean, never mind. It was, it was all in you know, a side setting. I didn't realize it was a legal transaction. We're okay for now. Um, so yeah. In the meantime, the race is about to start. Um, so uh, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna stand in front of Jason Statham. And you're gonna try and run as fast, yep. faster than the corgis, Mr. Statham. Follow me. So I'm gonna need just a straight up roll uh, to see if you can run faster than a corgi. Wouldn't it be my follow me roll? Well, this is just to see if you are faster than a corgi. Ah, oh, okay. No, I do have ways to mitigate this in case it fails, though. Right. My okay. man's like six foot tall. <laughs> uh, I've I've rolled a failed, but I do have ways to mitigate this. Uh, as we're running, well, let's start the race first. Yeah, so the race starts and the corgis run. You're you're falling behind a little bit. What are you gonna do? Uh, I reach into my suit pockets, I pull out a squeaky toy, and throw it off to the left. Oh, uh, yeah. I reach into my suit pockets, pull out another squeaky <laughs> toy, and throw it off to the right. Okay. And basically, I'm gonna keep doing that. I think that might be a follow me roll. I think we can class that as a follow me roll. So yeah, do that. Uh, a six. I can't remember what my follow me roll skill was, but it's six. It's six. You're you're good. And a one on Jason die. Yeah. So so the corgis uh, they start running there. They they break out ahead, but then you pull out the squeaky toys. Follow it right on the left. A bunch of corgis follow its way. Go to the right. A bunch of corgis follow its way, and then yeah, you just Jason Statham. Run, Mr. Jason Statham. Statham is running as hard as his little legs can take him. <laughs> he's on all fours. He still thinks he's a corgi. Um, <laughs> But he, he does cross the finish line first, and no. the crowd are a little disappointed, <laughs> but they are understanding the rules are rules. So now Jason Statham... Roman's walking around going, that corgi's mine, that corgi's Mr. Statham, that corgi's Mr. So yeah, all the corgis on Facebook Marketplace are now belonging to Mr. Statham. They all agree to not purchase the corgis. <laughs> um, and yeah, the stock market over, over the next few months slowly recovers. Um, <laughs> And I think we can, yeah, we it's another successful scene. Well done. Nice, nice, Great nice. Day. Great day. What you can do, if you if you would like to, because Jason has lost uh, some points on the sad tracker, he's at five. If you would like to, you can do a short scene where you try and cheer Jason Statham up because he's still a little bit sad. That he couldn't have the number two corgi. Oh. That was the one he really wanted. Of all the corgis of the world he's got now, he really wanted the number two. So he's a little sad about that. Well, didn't we get the number two? No, no. He just oh. the dime a dozen corgis. Yeah, but he, he really wanted that number two. So he's a little sad about that one. So you can, you can, you can each have one chance to try and cheer him up. So obviously, I'm just after the cocaine. I was just constantly on my phone. I recorded everything. I'm gonna put forward a short video compla compilation of Jason Stratham and the number two corgi, and just just make it like sort of bittersweet. And, you know, it's nice of all the fun time with a nice like soft music going on the background, and we're just gonna have like you know bring him into the lounge or whatever and then just like you know have a nice bean bag a nice big corgi plushies and all the corgis in the room and then just projector and just you know play the music and just you know remembering number two yeah okay uh well i guess give me a i mean it sounds like you're making a movie and actors make movies so give me a failed actor role yes ah uh, no <laughs> it was so close to good that it fell over uh it's a seven and a five Seven and five. Oh, you don't need to roll the state and die for this, but yeah. Oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. So unfortunately, the movie is is a little bit. It's not. It's not a very good movie. You're a failed actor. What can you do? Um, so he's like, he probably just makes him sadder. To be honest, he's like, oh, I really wanted that song. I just wanted to. I can't have it back. Yeah, it's not. Didn't quite capture the bitter, the the heartfelt moments. It just was just him reminding himself he doesn't have this dog. Would anyone else like a go? I'm just gonna pat him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure. Good. Give me a, <laughs> give me a regular roll. There, there, Mr. Statham. No, that's a fail. <laughs> you just hit him a little bit too hard. Ow! <laughs> <laughs>
I don't feel any better. I'm gonna run him a nice bath, and I'm gonna sprinkle some money around in the bath, you know, just to sort of try and <laughs> make him feel a bit better about the things that he does have in this life. <laughs> Good thing when you're in Australia, where the money's really waterproof. Yeah, true. Give me a, or give me a local knowledge roll for knowing that the money's waterproof in Australia. Go yeah, on. yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, critical fail. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You get him, you get him, uh, New Zealand dollars, and he's like, these are worthless! Oh, no! Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Stephen. Oh. Wrong cards. So Wrong you, you were yeah. unsuccessful at cheering him up, but that's fine. He'll just have to stay at a sad of five. Um, but it's a new day. It's a new chance to make some wonderful memories. And let's mm-hmm. see where Jason's going today. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. And we'll see what the Wesley Snipe is up to. <laughs> all right, cool. This should be fine. All right, so uh, you're all gathered around the uh, gathered around the apartment. Uh, it's full of Red Bull and corgis. Um, <laughs> all the corgis arrived yesterday. It smells oh, a bit like dog poo. Um, <laughs> and and yeah, the um, the the one of the corgis starts barking. And it wakes him up. <laughs> and you just hear, like, oh, no. a, a oh, corgi no, no, no. smash through the door. He's unharmed. The corgi's unharmed. He just, like, walks yeah. away, like, it was fun. Okay. And then Nathan <laughs> kicks the door down the rest of the way. He's dressed up in, in hiking gear. Like, he's got, he's been to Kathmandu overnight. And he's like, all right, guys, we're going to the National Park. It's going to be great. We're going on a hike. <laughs> he's got some very interesting hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> It's not not what I would have expected. All right. So first question is how how are you guys dressed for the national park? Same suit. <laughs> same suit. <probably. laughs> I'm wearing the same suit, but I've got massive gum boots over my enormous linen pants. Um, same red jumpsuit, but this time with uh, sneakers. Oh, nice. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. And like sports socks with stripes. Oh, yes, <laughs> yeah. love that. All right. So the second question is, what, um, yeah, what track would you like to be um, under Jeopardy? Rem- reminders: they are dead, arrested, sad, or bored. You can pick one. I feel like out Jeopardy. nature, dead is you know always on the horizon out there. Mm. In the uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's let's do dead. I think we can deal. Because it's also dealing with dead. Nate, that's that's the easiest thing. It's the most common and the easiest thing I think we can find solutions for. Well, you say that now, but you never know what the nature's going to throw at you. All All right. Right. So you're going with dead. I'm going to go with bored. Um, yeah. Because nature yep. can be boring. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. So how are, we all, how are we all getting to the National Park? Get in the car. We don't want a bike, maybe? I don't know. Are we, are we going to, are we going to skydive? Into the park. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's a good idea. Yeah. Into the park. Get yeah. the plate. Where's the closest national park to Sydney? Make that happen, Donny Dan. Let me make some call. Yeah, make it happen, Donny Dan. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making a call to the guy that I know that I love to jump out of planes with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Give me. Yeah. Give me an extreme sports role. Extreme sports. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a success. It's a five. Yes. And had the safe and dial good. Oh yeah, it was a two. Oh perfect. Okay, cool. So yeah, so you, you hook up with your buddy who runs a skydiving company. He's like, yeah, absolutely, we can skydive you into the national park. Jason Statham's ecstatic. He's like, yes. Oh, this is so cool. Yes. Uh, so you all hop in. You hop in your 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 car. You'll get the car. You drive down to the skydiving place. They they get you up in the plane. Get in the plane. Get in the plane. <laughs> <laughs> and they, <laughs> and they, sky, they skydive you in, and it's the most amazing moment. And you... nah, I've got to do a follow me roll, jumping out of the plane. Yeah, go, go for it, go for it. Ask you for trouble. Follow me. Courting disaster. Uh oh, I've got a twelve. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right, well, this is not good for Brick. Uh, as you skydive out, um, Brick, uh, his parachute. Um, doesn't open and he starts freaking out and he has to he has to put the emergency parachute up. So it freaks him out a little bit. So now he's got a bit of adrenaline. <laughs> so 
Oh god. Yeah, so you, you, you make it to the bottom unscathed, it's not that kind of game. Um, but yeah, you do feel like that was all, that was, don't want to do that again. You, you're terrified of heights now and you've had a bit of adrenaline. So, yeah, not, not a good start for, for Brick today, um, but that's okay. Jason had an amazing time, um, so that's all that matters. Great, that's all, that's all that matters, that's all that matters. The rest of us do not matter. So you land in the forest, um, Jason Satham has got his hiking gear on, he's ready to go for a hike. Um, now, he does, the problem is, like, he doesn't really know where the good hiking spots are. So he's like, he's trying to find a map, he can't find a map anyway, he's like, oh, where, where are we? We've got we to gotta go, we've got to find a map, we gotta, where are we going, come on! We don't need no map. <laughs> well, I've got local got Roman knowledge, Rogers. so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Yeah. yeah, give me a local knowledge roll. Just to stay from leaving it all to me, I can find this a beautiful trail with sites like you ain't never seen before. Uh, I swear. Roman spent all night studying all trails dot com. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all six, which is a success, and four yeah, on the nice. and die, so we're all, all good. right. So yeah, you, you did your research. You all you looked up all trails the night before, and yeah, you yeah yeah you all right. And Jason's like, yeah, all right, awesome, awesome, and yeah, you start hiking, um, and yeah, you. Yeah, describe to me all the beautiful wildlife and nature that you see. Mm. We see, we, we now walk in here, you see this open field, you can see uh, two kangaroos beating the shit out of each other. Uh, oh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, look up to your right. There's a funny rock that looks <gasps> kind of like a, a guy who's lying on the ground, sad. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wow. Over, over here, there's a big nest of fire ants. Uh, <laughs> look, at, look at them go. And over there, you can see a funnel web spider. <laughs> Jason Jason is immediately impressed with the fire ants. He's going to walk towards the fire ants. Jason, this isn't your hit movie crank. You don't need to engage with those ants. <laughs> he, um, Jason, Jason sees this beautiful flower, this big, beautiful flower, um, sort of on the side of the path, and he's like, Oh, that's the most beautiful flower I've ever seen. And he um, he goes to, to, to touch the flower. Are you going to let him touch the flower? Uh, <laughs> Mr. Statham, no! Brick, do something! I don't see what the problem was. It's just a beautiful flower. I just put my hand over it and squish it. The flower? Yeah, okay. Give me give me these hands of weapons. Yeah. Uh, a two and a two? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. So, um... Yeah, so you you squish this flower, squish it, um, and it was you you were right to squish it because it was a poisonous flower. You're wearing gloves, so it's mm. fine; doesn't affect you. Mm. Um, but Jason sees you squishing the flower, and he goes, "Oh, that looks like fun!" And now he's gonna <laughs> oh, no. running around trying to like like trying to squish everything he can. He sees like a little possum, and he's like gonna go up and squish it, <laughs> and he sees like like little like bits of like endangered flowers on the ground and he's like trying to squish those as well what are you oh gonna do my god i'm gonna uh... sit back because there's no up there's no one around to witness this so legally we're fine <laughs> legally you're fine, <laughs> legally, you're fine. Yep. and ethically i don't give a shit <laughs> yeah so he just start yeah all right yeah he, he just starts like squish like gets a possum just like crushes it with his hands like Argh. oh no <laughs> you guys are free to have some moral compunction yeah, about this. i will Join in, I think. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, oh no! <laughs> yeah, all right. I think I, 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 it sounds like an extreme sport to me. I guess. Go on. Yeah, it seems like. It's... Oh god! Listen, I'm the yes man. Uh, that's that's a success. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, all right, yes. You just find like a lead beater possum and you squish it. Oh <laughs> yep. god! And the two of you are just squishing, so just squishing things in the forest. Jason, Jason's so excited. He's like, okay, this is awesome. I need more. I need more. He pulls out, he pulls out his giant bag of cocaine, like yep. from his backpack. It's like it probably fills a whole backpack, and he's like starts. <laughs> for, the, for the first time, for the first time in Brick's life, a single tear drops from his eye. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's a brick. He pulls out a yeah, brick, brick of cocaine. A single tear. No, no, a single. T no, about the animals being. Oh, the animals being sweet. Well, you could have stopped him. But it makes Jason happy. <laughs> They're pissed. Okay, so he pulls out. He pulls out this big, this big, big bag of cocaine. It's the whole backpack, basically. And as he like pulls it out, he goes like dive his head in. All of a sudden, there's a gunshot. 
and the co- bag of cocaine explodes and goes all over the ground. <laughs> what are the chances of this happening? And, and, and all the animals that have started to, to like congregate around, like, oh, this is what's going on here? Why, why is everyone screaming? Uh, they all start to ingest the cocaine and it riles them up. Oh my god, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and as they're watching Jason <laughs> squishing their brethren, they only feel one thing, and that is revenge. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. <laughs> and they start to advance on Jason Statham. I pick up a log. Pick up a log? <laughs> yeah, okay. Try, try, try and fast talk the, uh, the animals, Roman. <laughs> my preparation is I'm going to use eye for detail to try and spot a, uh, an escape route, a, uh, a path of retreat if necessary. If Brick... Yep. Comes to the animals and we can't <laughs> save Mr. Statham. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yeah, give me an eye detail roll. Yes, I failed. You failed? Okay. So yeah, there's no. You can't see an escape route in sight. You appear to be surrounded. Brick, give me a. These weapons are also weapons roll to see how you. Well, are they attacking us yet? I don't want to hit them unless. Yeah, they're about. To, they are rearing up and ready to attack. What animal? What type of animal? Um, there's a few possums. There's like a couple of snakes. There's uh, like a few smaller like rodent. Like you'll be, there may be like a kangaroo's approaching. Like sniff, start to sniff a cocaine. Like Uh-oh. it's it's starting to become a real a real zoo animal. Do there. I hit the animals? I mean, you let him squish them all. So like you got to protect Mr. Statham's life. <laughs> all right, here we go. These weapons are weapons. It's a two and a three. We're good. So you managed to you managed to um. Basically playing baseball with the log and the animals. Yeah, you start playing baseball with these with these little critters as they like lunge at Statham and you just swat them away. Um, what are you doing, Donny? Uh, I'm gonna pull out another bag of cocaine and throw it at the ground. Yeah, give me a narcotics roll. Listen, because then they'll then they'll get way too like me and Jason. We're fine with this much cocaine. These animals are not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's a complete failure. <laughs> So you uh, so you pull out your bag of cocaine, and you go to like throw it on the ground. But then the wind picks up and it like blasts back in your face. <laughs> For the second time in the weekend, you have been ingested a whole bag of cocaine, and you also gain an adrenaline. Even when I fail, I succeed. I think you remember remember, Brick. You also have an adrenaline too. So mm. remember that when you roll, you have to add one to your roll. Oh, add one. Okay. Donny. Yes. Donny. Yo. Get the chopper. I will pull out the phone, just hit style, and ask for like, yeah, I'll, I'll call in a high speed, like, just a high pickup chopper, just somehow. So what we'll do, um, we'll do an extraction roll for Brick. Yeah. Um, I'll be like, Jason, get on my back. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, so extraction roll. And then I'm going to climb a tree. Yep, yep. <laughs> And then try and jump for the chopper. <laughs> okay, that sounds like an extraction roll to me, so do that first. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the adrenaline in me. Oh no. Yep. I've rolled a one, but also a one. <laughs> my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so, um, alright, so you, uh, you tell Jason Statham to get on his back, <laughs> and he goes, Nah, I got a better idea. And he grabs a kangaroo that has started to like get angry and lo- like jumps into the kangaroo's pouch and said, "These the kangaroos will get us out of here. The roos will get us out of here." The kangaroos are like, they they clearly not built for someone as large as Jason, so they're like 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 <laughs> trying to get up <laughs> and they're pinned to the ground because Jason's jumped in their pouch and is like trying to snuggle in and hide from all the animals that are now lunging at Jason. Oh my god. Um, give me a. Yeah, for your uh, your chopper, Donny, give me an extreme sports roll. <gasps> it's six. It's a failure because it needed, needed a five or lower. Oh, plus seven, plus one because of the adrenaline. Yep, it failed. All right, so yeah, you, there's no reception. There's no reception. You can't get a hold of him. Um, so now Jason is inside a kangaroo's pouch getting mauled by these other creatures. Uh, Jason's probably going to take some damage here. He's, he's going to take some dead. Um, it's just one. So like maybe like a little lead Peter possum just like scratch him on the on the face and he's like ah shit ah oh my god oh no oh, god this isn't working help me so um <laughs> I think uh, at this point 
we'll probably let um, we'll probably let uh, Brick do his extraction because he did roll the one. So I think at this point you pull him out, pull him on your back, and then you climb a tree. And then I jump jump for the chopper. There's no chopper. We don't have a chopper. Oh yeah. The chopper didn't come. <laughs> At this point, oh. at this point, uh, a car approaches from down the track, and it's a ranger. It's a New, it's a New South Wales <laughs> National Parks ranger, and he sees the, the chaos that is happening. <laughs> what the hell's going on, Cheryl? Fast up time, Roman. He's like talking to a possum now. Cheryl, Daisy, what did they do to you? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, Johnny. <laughs> Roman. And he looks up. Quick, Roman, say something. <laughs> Okay, uh, sir, 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 uh, if I may, <laughs> can you please, um, assist us? We seem to have had a, uh, terrible incident involving, uh, these reckless wild animals. They've become cruel and nasty to us, and they, <laughs> they want us, they seem to want us dead, and we need your help. You're supposed to deal with these sort of things, aren't you? <laughs> Alright, give me a spin doctor roll. Okay. Um... Success for all these. Oh no, that's a nine. No, it's a oh, failure. No, wait a minute. He sees a bag of cocaine on the ground. Wait, wait a minute. You rolled these animals up with cocaine, didn't you? No, that's it. I think you will find that it is not illegal for an animal to ingest cocaine. Um, <laughs> they can do what they please. They are not subjected to the laws of man. Uh, he's like, I'm, I'm calling the police, and we are getting <laughs> you. Are, you're going to be ejected from. You're gonna be ejected from this park. You all four of you are gonna be ejected from this park. Am I am I at the top of the tree? Yes, you're at the top of the tree. What do you wanna do? I'm gonna do a, a a splash attack from the top of the tree onto this ranger. <laughs> yeah, okay, give me a uh give me a with these hands of weapons roll. I'm just gonna jump from the tree. Yeah. Do a do like a diving elbow or something. Yep. Uh a three and a five, that's a pass. Yeah, so yeah, you, you jump from the tree and you squish this ranger. <laughs> I'm like the macho man, diving over. <laughs> well, what are you doing at this point, Donnie? Uh, I'm going to... So the ranger's on the ground, right? Mm-hmm. And I've just, I've just landed on him. I'm going to run over and try and pick up like a bunch of that cocaine and just go and throw it in this guy's face. I'm like, you did it as well, now you're a criminal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are now an accomplice. Now in your, <laughs> your interest to assist. Oh, that's, that's absolutely terrible. <laughs> it's 12. Oh, no. So you pick up you pick up the cocaine, but it's real like it's just dirt. Most of it, yeah, it's all the dirt, all the cocaine's been ejected by the animals. So you just like you throw it at this guy, and it just angers him. <laughs> it's like, ah oh, shit! <laughs> no, what are you doing? And like in the meantime, in the meantime, you see an angry uh, an angry kangaroo uh, comes up behind you and just starts like attacking you. I think you probably lose another adrenaline. Um, but the, the guy's incapacitated. Jason Statham's still in the tree, though. Um, he can't climb, by the way. You're gonna have to go get him. Oh, <laughs> uh, you have to retrieve him? I think Jason's starting to get a bit bored now because he's stuck in the tree. He's like, I want to be down there. <laughs> he's bored! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Statham, I'll catch you. Yeah, alright. Give me well, give me an extraction roll. It sounds like an extraction from the tree. I'm gonna run yep. for the car and try and... Um... Uh-oh, that's a 12. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Gosh. Jason Statham jumps from the tree and you miss him and he hits the ground and he takes three dead. I'm like holding my arms out and he lands right next to me. Bush! Ah! Fuck! <laughs> Bleeding now and he's like, ah oh, no! The animals are approaching him. <laughs> Mr. Statham, fear not, fear not, we're gonna get you extracted ASAP. I am running for the I'm running for the car and I am um gonna try and get oh. in the driver's seat to Evac in the ranger's car. Yeah, in the, in the ranger's, ranger's car. car now. Okay, so you don't have extraction, Roman, so I'm just gonna have you roll four. Roll the basic four. Okay, sure. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't the best guy to do this. Uh, failed. That was an eight. <laughs> you take the car, you take the car, and you probably like, probably drive backwards, you probably hit a tree or something, and you like, take a bit of damage as well. So now you also have a drone. Uh, so everyone's got at least one adrenaline except for um, I've got two. Tony. He's got two. Yeah. How many can we have? So once you hit three, you are incapacitated. 
you explode. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> day day three of the holiday is not going well. Um, day three is. Uh... Jason is still being attacked by animals, by the way. Oh right, shit. What are you gonna do? God damn. Um, everyone, follow me. I pick Jason up and just tell everyone to follow me. Yeah, give me a give me a follow me roll. Remember, you're gonna need a, uh, a seven. A two. A two. That's a two. yeah. A two is is yeah. good. That's good. All right. Uh, what's the safety dice say? Five. That's fine. All right, you're fine. Yeah. So you get to your feet and you just all right. I'm taking control. Follow me. And yeah, Jason follows you. Um, are you gonna I, get? I'm him? carrying him. You're carrying him. Oh, yeah. Okay. So yeah, you carry him on like under your arm and you run out of the. Uh, you're gonna run towards the car. Or are you just gonna like run away? Oh, I might as well get in the car. Yeah. Yeah, the car's still fine. You just because you crashed. Yeah. It's really, right. got yeah. Extracting in the car. Yeah. Okay. I'll jump for the driver's seat. You gonna be the driver? Yeah, I'll be the driver. All right. This is like four wheel driving, right? Yeah, it's like four wheel driving. Sure. So. Extreme sports. Go on. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. This is the road. I'm just gonna take a lift. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I think yeah that way you'll lose the animals that way. I like it. Give me an extreme yeah. sports roll. Remember, you have two adrenaline. Oh yeah, I know. Oh boy, it's a natural one, so three. <laughs> yes! Alright, yeah, so you, you keep it together. Uh, does. Alright, the D6 is also a three, so I, don't, I rolled a one and a three, but I don't know if the one becomes a three and then they match. No, it's one. fine, uh, it's a natural one. Cool. We'll, we'll give it to you. Sweet. <laughs> um, yeah, so you drive, you, you expertly uh, go off road. You're racing through the wilderness. All the animals that are high in cocaine, they can't follow you. They're too, like, like munted yeah. to even think about it. They're just, like, they're getting, probably getting a little sleepy now. Uh, as you successfully drive out of the National Park, you have survived. Jason is injured, um, but he still has fond memories of this day. Um, so, yeah, good job, everyone. Congratulations, you have... <laughs> Succeeded. I'll be taking a selfie and like on the <laughs> yeah. gram while I drive as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mentioning like how yeah. great was this national park? You know, got a bit dicey there. You know, and wildlife one st one out of five. But you know, the park rangers one out of five. Us <laughs> five out of five. There's just blood all over you. <laughs> while in cocaine. <laughs> As you take this selfie, Jason's <laughs> is like half bleeding on the ground and going, yeah! <laughs> As you successfully escaped the National Park, congratulations everyone. We arrive back to the hotel where the managers, the maintenance staff at the hotel are fixing a new door again to the room. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just keep happening. <laughs> they just keep them in storage. Um, okay, so we've completed the scene. Now, as the last game, you are allowed to um, have a short scene with Jason to lift up one of his tracks. So, as a reminder, he has uh, just four dead left, and he has five sad. Well, I'm going to try and fix the dead one. Yep. How are you going to do that? Uh, what are his injuries? Uh, probably a lot of like internal injuries from the fall, I think, and scratches from all the animals, I'd say. I don't know, how am I going to fix that? <laughs> I mean, you can fix his sad, you can choose to fix his sad. Um, I, I know how, I'm going to just try and go and grab some like Trimadol and, some, and like morphine, any painkillers <laughs> I can get my hand on, and then you know, just obviously, yeah, be like, here, yeah, this will fix you right off. Narcotics roll, don't worry about your adrenaline. That's a six, it's a six. You did it, yeah. So yeah, you um you have the right cocktail of drugs, you clean him up, and he regains one dead. So he now has five dead. Makes nice, sense. Nice, I'm nice. just making him ignore it. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're fine, you've had worse. Anything else you'd like to do? I'm gonna try and use my local knowledge to call around about uh the best uh hotel doctors <laughs> yes yeah, yeah do it. and uh see if i can find someone to the black market do doctors the black market doctors yeah, yeah. Looking at get, yeah, yeah get, someone to, get someone to try and come and patch up just to stay them um that is an 11 fail yeah no they're all they're all uh it's a sunday so they're not working nah. they're all having a day off <laughs> 
gonna try and increase the sad track by just cuddling him. Oh, you going? Still, still wearing the suit and his glasses. And the li and the Luther gloves. Uh, nah, eight, not good enough. No, you probably as you hug him, he's like, "Ow, that hurts." <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. State. We'll we'll have a great day tomorrow. It's gonna tomorrow's gonna be a great day. So, um, it's day four, the final day of Jason Statham's big vacation. Now, uh, what I what I'm gonna do? Uh, so I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll the dice twice, and I have to combine the two results. So okay. let's see. Oh, we had that one already. I'm gonna roll, re-roll. Okay. Yep. And <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, that actually works really well. All right. So, and we'll see what Wesley Snipes is going to get up to. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. So far, his MO has just been shooting whatever Donnie Dan picks up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's easy enough. Oh, yeah, we can, we can, uh, easy, easy. Oh, it's much, much less of a, um, a mental flex than the uh, dog race Corgi. <laughs> the Corgi's <laughs> sort of like a crash one. All right. Day four. You're all sitting around, uh, You've got um, you've got corgis and Red Bull, and now it's just like like cocaine and blood everywhere. Um, <laughs> and it's just a normal a normal hotel suite on the fourth day of a public holiday, fourth day of a long weekend. Um, Jason Statham kicks the door down. <laughs> he is dressed in a very fancy fancy tuxedo uh, with a little like cravat instead of a tire, and he says, all right, guys, we're going to the art gallery. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> and the art gallery is at the Chandelier Museum. Oh, let's go. Mr. Statham, I would not have picked you for most of these activities. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So you're going to the art gallery, and you and the art gallery is being hosted at the Chandelier Museum, so they must have, like, an art exhibition on. Do, do, we, do we have a board track? Because I think we would be getting bored at those ones. <laughs> Probably, but you're getting paid for this. I'm not. I've been doing cocaine every day. Like, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, we need to think of a new way of getting there. Um... Yeah, I'll put a bow tie on. Yeah. Fir first thing. Uh, first, yeah. First thing. What are you wearing? Well, my same suit. Same jumpsuit, but bow tie, leather shoes. I'm uh, going to get into the spirit of abstract art and just splatter some paint all over my suit. Um, <laughs> yeah, become right. a walking exhibit of my own. <laughs> nice. It's awesome. Yeah, great. Um, now the next question is: What tracks would you like to be jeopardy, under jeopardy? So, as a reminder, you have five dead, eight arrested, five sad, and eight bored. I've, it's the last one. We need a risky death, don't we? <laughs> no, do we? I was going to say just. You know just... How I remember I, I I will pick one as well. So yeah, I can, like, we'll, we'll go. If you pick a safe one, I'll probably pick a dangerous one, and vice versa. Let's do board. Let's do board. I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna do sad. All yeah. right, board and sad. We, the the main things you don't want in a holiday. The board yeah. and sad. Board and sad. <laughs> uh, yeah. How are you guys going to the art gallery or the Chandelier Museum? I should say. Where's, where is the art gallery? Uh, where would you like it to be? <laughs> they don't have a monorail in It'll Sydney like, anymore, do they? No, they just, don't. Well, they used to. <laughs> they used to. <laughs> what about What about just e-scooters or something? Just like electric scooters? Yeah. Get, get on the scooters. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm imagining Jason and Bricks just on the same one, with Jason just holding the waist of Brick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the I don't know what the purple company is, but get get on the purple scooter. I think they're beam. Is it beam? He's got a scooter. He's on one scooter. He's holding Jason in one hand. Jason's like like a, like a large baby. Just like <laughs> he's having the best time. He's like yeah, he's good. Oh, yeah. Um, you make it to the uh, you make it to the art gallery the Chandler, at the Chandler Museum. I ride the scooters inside. Yeah, and you see um, this. Is he swinging on them? <laughs> no, you see these lovely ornate chandeliers. Um, they're they're gorgeous. All different types of chandeliers, uh, ranging from various uh, historical periods. You also find uh, see these these lovely art that's been spread all around the art gallery. It's very high end affair. Um, 
there's you know a waiter walking around with you know hors d'oeuvres and whatnot. Um, what are you guys doing as you arrive? Counting the exits. Mm, mm. Yep. Um, what about what about you, Roman? Mm, I'm gonna just uh, uh, use an eye for detail to see if there's any uh any precarious chandeliers that we should be aware of. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Something yeah. bad's gonna happen with these chandeliers. <laughs> uh, I failed. That's a ten. No, oh, yeah, they're all fine. Yeah, they all they all seem fine. I don't know why you're mm. worried. About... Okay. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, yeah, you don't notice any chandeliers that might be swinging precariously. Yeah. Okay. Um... <laughs> uh, yeah, Donny, how can you make this more exciting? Well, as mentioned, I said I'm driving this e-scooter into the museum, and like, yeah. you know, I'm assuming Brick and everyone else is gonna follow suit. So we're just going through the halls. And I'm just looking for like, basically, it's like multi-story, right? So there's stairs and rails and all yeah. sorts of things, right? So I'm just gonna like, you know, try and just, you know, whenever we need to go down things, like up or down stairs, I'm just gonna like just drive the scooter up or like grind down and just, you know, try and make it more fun. For Jason to visit the museum. Yeah, this sounds like an extreme sport to me. So yeah, give me an extreme sports roll. <laughs> it's a twelve. <laughs> Complete family. You go... Jason, watch this! Yeah, you... <laughs> Hold my beer. <laughs> you try and do a sweet move and you stack it. Uh, I think you gain an adrenaline. Um, and... And... Jason... He's... The scooter crashes. And now Jason... Without Ow. the scooter... Uh, keeping him interested. I think he... He might be starting to get a little bit bored. We, you, Jason, you picked this activity. Muppet. We don't... Don't victim blame. Maybe he was expecting something different. No, this is Liam. This is Liam, yeah, Liam yeah. not Brick. Brick. Brick's all for it. <laughs> um, all right, we need to make him happier. Uh, sorry, sorry, more interested again. Um, uh, Mr. St- Mr. Statham, how about you try and make some of this art better? Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> that sounds awesome. All right, how are you gonna? How are you gonna do that? How are we gonna do that? Uh, well, Roman, you painted your suit. I did, I did. I've got some Did paint. you bring the paint? I've got some, yeah, I got some <laughs> acrylics in my in my suit pocket here. I can yep. uh, I can lend them to you, Mr. Statham. Anything for <laughs> you, Mr. Statham. He is <laughs> ecstatic. He is so excited. <laughs> he starts, like, taking out the paints, and he starts painting on all these, like, priceless artwork. He's like, oh, this one needs a mustache. Yeah, oh, this one needs a top hat. Oh, this one needs <laughs> this one needs bigger boobs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's no longer bored now. Uh, but some of the patrons are starting to be concerned uh, that uh, he is ruining the art and are probably going to want to say something to him. Lawyer, you're up. Yeah, lawyer. I was going to say, all right, um, folks. Uh, I suppose that you know him. My client, Mr. Statham, is a. Uh a uh, famous actor we are merely in the pre-production for a brand new movie this is him getting into character this is legal he's allowed to be doing this we have got permission from the uh from the art from the, the art gallery um yep. please please don't to keep keep about your business and enjoy mr statham's uh wonderful work thank you if anything they should join in <laughs> please yeah get amongst it this is a communal activity. No, I like I like that excuse. My excuse I was going to suggest was you say like, uh, once you change art, it becomes new art, so it no longer destroyed the old art. <laughs> yeah, it's sticking up, and so therefore it's now your art, and we own this now. I think encouraging people to I think encouraging people to join in that is, I think this might be a spin doctor and not a law law. You can convince me otherwise, but it sounds like it's spin doctor. Yeah, like I'll I'll take the spin doctor. All right, uh, spin doctor. All right. <laughs> There we go. Oh, success. That's a five. Nice. But also, I rolled a five on the Statham die. So. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> so, Jason, so yeah, so you convince everyone's, oh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, this, this, it's art. I love it. This is art. Uh, and they all start, they, you know, they're like, oh, this is, this is brilliant. This is brilliant art piece. And then Jason gets so excited, he starts, like, trying to paint the people. <laughs> so he's like, he, he's like he's done with just drawing on art. He's gonna try and like start chasing patrons around and like trying to paint stuff on them. And everyone's starting to get a little upset about this. Uh, I, I I my suit's finally bursting, so I just flex and it all just explodes. I'm like, paint me. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a follow me roll. 
<laughs> follow me, bro. Yeah, it's follow me, hate me. It's all the same, isn't it? Uh, six and a oh no, four, and then Jason dies at six. So, so my suit explodes away from me. Yeah, Jason stops chasing the others. He's like, all right, I'll paint on you then. He starts painting on you, and he's he's content at this point. Um, as as you as Jason is painting on your body, uh, very non homoerotic my, my homo yeah, very non homoerotic way. Um, you, you notice that there's a few people who aren't running away, and they're just sort of standing there, um, and they're all in trench coats, and they're all in like dark shades and like a fedora. And oh, no. as they Donnie Dan, make sure they're not kids standing on top of each other. As they as they walk towards, they sort of start slowly walking towards you. And then you notice one of them drop down on their butt, pull their pull their like their foot back and just start scratching the back of their ear. And then you realize these aren't people. They're bears. Uh-oh. No. no. <laughs> How has this happened? There's in the art museum. And then they get, and then they get up. And then they they start like menacingly walking towards Jason Statham. And as you, wow, as you, no good for Mr. Statham. And, and as you, uh, and as they get closer, you realize one of them has like a shirt. He's wearing a shirt, um, and the name of it is like the shirt is the name of a company, and the company's called Big Ted's Bear Hire. And you realize these aren't just any normal bears; these are hired bears, hired bears who are also goons. Uh, and they're <laughs> coming at and they're coming at you now. Well, clearly I'm gonna fight the bear. How does Jason feel about beers and like? Because I know he does. He's done a bunch of martial arts and he's a diver and all that stuff. Do I think he could take a beer? It's the age-old question. Give me a Statham war roll, and you can tell me that. It's a six. It's a success. It's a three. So, well, technically a seven because I got one adrenaline. You, you, yeah, that's fine. You tell me. Can Satan say to take on a bear? I think, considering that like 50% of Americans think they can take a bear with their bare hands, Jason is well and truly in that 50%. So he can take a bear. Oh, yeah. All right, Jason, you're my partner. Donnie, you're the ref. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, Jason, you've heard of cocaine beer. Now. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw a bag of cocaine into you. <laughs> Give me an iconics roll. It's a success with a natural one and a three. So yeah. <laughs> so this time you really you, you get the you get the narcotics. You pull the bag of cocaine out. You throw it at Jason Statham. He hits him square in the face. He ejects it and just it's just like crank. He gets he gets amped up and he starts fighting the bears. And he's winning. He's beating the bears, but there's so many bears, and the bears. No, I'm helping him. I'm helping him. Yeah. Okay. Give me a. Give me a these. Uh, these hands are weapons. Are you using a weapon or using your hands? No. I'm, oh, no. I don't. I don't need weapons. Oh, you're naked. You're naked. You're using. <laughs> I don't need weapons. I just bought my strength. We're gonna go for a headlock on one. Oh, that's a success. Yep, headlock on one. Yep, done. While while uh, while that one's in a headlock, another one's running up. I'm just gonna punch it <laughs> in the face. <laughs> that's a one. You just beat up bears, Roman. What are you doing? Um, I'm gonna propose a little uh, something to Donnie. I say we do something a little bit extreme. Ooh, uh, okay. I say, Mister Mister Dan, we uh, I would yeah. like for you to let's. I'm gonna push you up onto one of them chandeliers, and you're gonna. Expertly duck about them and then, you know, angle yourself above a bear and drop down. Drop the chandelier down. Yeah. (laughs) I can't see how this could go wrong. At all. (laughs) (laughs) All Alright. So, you so just to be clear, so you're going to throw, throw Donnie up onto the chandelier. Yeah. I'm hoping Donnie can roll for extreme sports. Yeah, okay. Um, Well, you're the one that's doing the works here, so I'm going to have you roll... I'm gonna have you just do a straight roll. Just a normal roll. Can... Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, natural one! Nice, yeah, you easily you throw you throw Donnie up. And you know what, Donnie, because you roll the one on me, you just you just do it. You just do it. So you get up there, you get on top of the chandelier. What are you doing? Uh, I think I'm just gonna swing the chandelier back and forth and try and like 
make it fall and then leap to the next one and rinse repeats so making chandeliers fall down on beers yeah okay yeah give me that sounds extreme to me give me an extreme sports roll that's where it goes wrong oh damn it i was really hoping it was two sixes but it's it's a, it's a nine and a six so that's a failure the nine and a six all right so yeah so you you your first chandelier you unscrew it and then you realize that you're on the chandelier so you fall down with the chandelier you miss the bears and you just like clump to the floor and you, you gain an adrenaline meanwhile one of the bears is now focusing their attention not on Jason, or a few of the bears, I should say, not on Jason, but on uh, on Jason's beautiful art that he just created. And they're starting to like destroy his his beautiful art. And Jason is seeing this and he's getting really sad because he works so hard on that art. <laughs> uh, I've, I've got the bear in the headlock. I'm going to pick it up by its feet, swing it around like a hammer throw and throw the bear at the other bear. Give me a, these weapons are also weapons, because you're using the bear as a weapon. Yep. It's a four, four and a one. Yep. Four and a one, right. yep. Hammer throw. Yeah, you hammer throw one of the bears uh, into the other bear, it, like, cobbles down the hallway, safe for now. Um, Roman, what are you doing? But he's still sad about his art, probably. Maybe I'll call in some uh, underworld contacts that I might know and uh, mm-hmm. see if we can get some assistance on disposing of these bears. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> after all, I wouldn't want Mr. Stephen to get in any legal trouble for demolishing this art gallery <laughs> with of a course. bunch of bears. Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. I'm going to see if I can I'm call a little cleaning crew. Yeah, local knowledge. <laughs> Give me a local knowledge roll. Dispose of these bears. <laughs> um, I failed. It's a 10. <laughs> it's a Monday, it's a public holiday, no one's at work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> uh, I'm gonna... Uh, let's pull out the phone again, and I'm gonna start... Quick Donnie, cheer him to up. record. Cheer him up. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm just gonna go live on, like, Twitter or X or Facebook, a whatever, live you stream. know. I'm just gonna live stream everywhere. Twitch, YouTube, everything live stream. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I'm here with Jason Stratum. Look at this incredible art he's made. Even if it gets destroyed, it's gonna be permanently up there. And look... Get your super chats. Get your super chats in. <laughs> Movie proposal as well. Cocaine beers, the sequel. Attack of the cocaine beers. <laughs> just like pan around, just watching <laughs> Jason prick like punching, just beating up this beer. So I'm like bloodied with a broken chandelier there. Yeah, give me a give me a failed actor roll. We gotta add two to this. Yeah, we gotta add two. Good compromise. So that's a fourteen total there. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so. So what they see when you go live is they just see Jason Statham in an art gallery who's just destroyed a bunch of priceless artwork, and then they've um, and then they've uh, and then him, him like beating up like a, a, an <laughs> <Yeah>. innocent animal, <laughs> yeah. And now the hate comments start flooding in, and people are like directly tweeting Jason Statham, and his phone is blowing up. He's like, oh no, what is this? And everyone's hate tweeting Jason Statham, and I think that makes him really sad. In fact, Jason's gonna lose. He's gonna lose another sad. So he's down to four oh, no. sad. Oh my god. No. They say most of the bears are gone, but now the hate comments are flooding in. <laughs> Jason Statham is being attacked by his supporters. You have, to, you have to change the story. All right, what are, you, what are we doing? How do you stop? <laughs> The, the internet from hating you. I'm gonna go online. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna start replying to every comment on Twitter. I'm gonna say it is. It is illegal for you to hate my client. Yeah, okay. yeah, there you go. Give me a. Give me a Lola roll. Yeah. Say it's yeah, a movie. Yeah. I don't know. Say yeah. it's fake news. Say I did. Yeah, it's it's everything, man. It's fine. All right. Uh, that is a success. Uh, hey. Five. The five and the Satan die. A second does two, so we're safe. Yep, you're we're fine, yeah. So you start like tweeting back at people saying like it is illegal to send these comments to my client. I will see you. Yeah. And it starts yeah. to stop them a bit. I'll see you in what, court, pal. what is everyone else doing? I would know Jason's had hate before and he made it through that time, right? So now he can it's gonna be like Jason, remember that time when you got hate? for the Fast and Furious movie because he started with a rock and not that other guy. <laughs> yeah, give me a Statham Law roll. Statham Law. I rolled a two, I think. Hey, nice. No, that's a natural one. Oh boy, that's way better. So that's a, that's a three and a five. 
And I'm like, it'll all blow over. It's fine. It's just the haters. We hate the haters. Yeah, I, I, I remember that. I remember that. Yeah, that's right. They were, yeah. They were mean then. And you know what? Nothing happened of it. I'm okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to be okay. Uh, <laughs> you became more beloved because you chose the right side of history. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, meanwhile, there's still like one or two bears running around. So <laughs> he's, he's gonna, he feels so good. He's going to go fight a bear. Um, yep. You're going <laughs> to... <laughs> you gonna help him beat up the bears? Yeah, yeah, I definitely will help him beat up the bear. Yeah, the bears are nearly gone. I think we need like probably one more success. I think the bears are done. Um, I think at this point the police have arrived. <laughs> bears are destroying all them. But well, I guess pest control have, have arrived, and they're like, "What's up? What's happened here? What's going on? Why are there bears in Australia? What?" <laughs> <laughs> officer, officer, officer! There's been a terrible accident. I don't know. I don't know what happened. The bears, they uh, grabbed a whole bunch of paint and started going to buck wild with them. And we, as good Samaritans, we thought we better uh, we better put a stop to this. They're defacing all this priceless art, and we we've been fighting them. But we need your help, officers. Oh, and they threw cocaine at Jason Strait. <laughs> and also, they had a bunch of cocaine. With them. <laughs> yeah, give me give me a spin doctor roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A five, that is a success, and four yeah. is a die. Oh, these bears must be stopped! They start shooting the bears. Um, Rick, is there anything you want to do? So, the bear, are the bears defeated? The bears, the bears and the pest control now are now fighting each other. Jason's probably caught in the crossfire. Get him out. Get him out. <laughs> yeah, Jason, get on my back. <laughs> Alright, it's an extraction roll. Give me an extraction. Uh, I'm gonna, he's gonna put him on my back. Get on one of the scooters and we're just gonna drive off into the sunset <laughs> fucking 12 <laughs> <laughs> you uh you try and get on the scooter uh <laughs> jason's on the scooter as well uh and then you accidentally like run into a bear and like hurt the bear and then the, the Facebook live sees this and they even more hate comments come and Jason gets even sadder and Jason's gonna lose <laughs> he's gonna lose three sad oh, oh, no. he's down to one sad left and may, maybe I maybe I continue scootering like scootering off into the distance not knowing that Jason's fallen off <laughs> <laughs> all right so now he's there's there's bears, there's pest control, they're like having a, a bloody civil war in the Chandelier Museum. Um, one last chance, what are you doing? I'm going to run over to the side of the room and just flick the light so it all goes dark. And then, uh, it's never failed me before, I'm going to throw another bag of cocaine into the room. And then just tell Jason, quick, let's leave! Give me a narcotics roll. Just try and just cause chaos. Well, it's it's a failure because of the two adrenaline, so that's an eight. But I did roll two sixes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think what happens is is that you throw you switch the lights on and off. The bears, uh, the bears, and the the people are distracted, and you throw the cocaine. Not only does the cocaine just like miss and like probably like destroys one of Jason's priceless artwork, but Jason, Jason's so sad um, that he calls. He he's like he's he's sadness has gone to zero. Yeah. It is now. It is now a Statham emergency. That's what we're in Statham Statham emergency mode. He is so sad. He is calling his mum, who is played by Helen Mirren. Um, and he is asking her to pick him up <laughs> because he's so sad and just wants to go home. No. Oh. <laughs> so you have one more chance to make uh, to to save this day, to save this holiday. You each have one more chance to save it. Um, oh my god, Brick, what are you doing? Oh uh, no, okay, no, I'm gonna ride back in with the scooter, realizing that I left him behind. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna ride back in. I'm like. Here, Mr. Statham. Here's Fast and the Furious 1 on DVD. <laughs> <laughs> give, me a, give me a roll. Give me a... Oh, it's, it's just a regular roll. A five. No. 
I didn't realise he wasn't no. in the first he's, one. He's like, I'm not even in that movie! <laughs> <laughs> Pushes it away. Brick didn't realise he wasn't in that one. He's he's dialing he's dialing the number. Uh, Mr. Statham, I'm just going to lie to him. I'm going to say, Mr. Statham, I'm looking at the comments. I'm on the comments. I'm on the Twitter. And uh, they're saying this is your finest scene that ever. <laughs> the people, they can't get enough. <laughs> they love this scene that you've created, Statham. Oh, give me a give me a spin doctor roll. Yeah, spin doctor. Ah, it's seven on the yeah. That's just a pass. And and then you realize you should probably tell him. Oh, all these hate comments—they're ironic. They actually love you. And he's like, oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I got I got so many followers. This is lovely. Oh, people. Yeah. Is, people people didn't think you could do a drama like this. They thought you were just some action meathead. But this is the greatest oh, drama they've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, maybe I'll finally get that Oscar. I, I think you. I think you yeah. save it. You save it. He's no. Yeah. He gets one sad back. One more chance, Donny. Can we get him out of the situation? All right. My plan is to call in an emergency contact, just like a break in case of emergency. I'm gonna call in his best friend, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, to come in <laughs> and just come in as a surprise. Just you know. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give you Statham more because you know his best friend is Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Go on. <laughs> yeah, it's a twelve. It's a 12. <laughs> oh no, you've brought back heel. You've brought back bad <laughs> the guy rock, rock is back. But the rock heel rock is back. The rock is evil <laughs> this time round. So he like, he's like, who's this jabroni? Which is actually canon. The Rock is a bad guy at the moment. It's Donnie James <laughs> with your best friend Jason Street. Yeah, I'll put him on the phone and I ain't the phone over to him. Uh, Jason's like sitting in the face like, The Rock, is that my best friend? He's like, you candy ass. He's like, it doesn't matter what you think. Just starts throwing Rockyisms at him. He calls him a jabroni. Didn't you realise I'm heel rock now? <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes him so sad. And he just crawls into a ball and just starts crying. <laughs> and the scene ends with these pest control people and these bears all stopping to watch Jason crying in the fetal position in an uncontrollable ball of tears. No. And no. and as everyone's just so so feel so sorry for him dude. and the comments still going every live all the people live going oh jeez this guy's a wuss look at this look at this winger look at this crybaby and Jason <sighs> Jason's career is in tatters and you've all <laughs> and you all go it's like home. Call of Cthulhu ends in <laughs> ends in despair management management is is irate their Hollywood superstar is is he's his image is in is in shattered, you know, is in is in disarray, and you all go home. Jason's crying in the back seat of, of the scooter. Back seat of the scooter. I guess it's time, I guess it's time to go and see if the Rock needs legal representation. <laughs> 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 that I think that's where we end it there. Thank you for listening to the Fumbled Anthology. New episodes are released every Sunday. And for more information about the podcast, you can go to fumbledanthology.com or you can seek us out on the social media of your choice. Thank you for listening. See you next week. Donnie Dan, start setting up the Willy Wonka Sydney experience. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this will turn the public payment around. No time. What? <laughs> it's legal. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Let's have you have you seen about this story, <laughs> Alex? I have. Date I've the seen episode it. a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Seen it. It would date it. Yeah. Nah, cl- clearly, <laughs> clearly, Donny Dan's not seen this story. Yeah. <laughs> What? <laughs> look it up later. You, you up need later. to look up the. You need to look up the Willy Wonka Glasgow experience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So- that was your, that was your run up. Yeah. <laughs>